Hey everyone, this is Rock. We're going to do another tutorial today. I'm not sure what episodes this is going to be. It's going to be a few, but we're hovering in the air. And uh, today we're going to go with engines. I'm going to show you a bunch of different ones that I know how to build. I'm going to show you how to build um, gears. We're going to go over gears today. I want to start getting into more advanced equipment, and uh, you can't do it without some engines. Because if you have advanced equipment, you want to automate it. And to automate it, you need engines. So we're going to get right into it. And we're going to start with uh, how to build gears. <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to build gears. I'm going to show you how to build the redstone engine, the sterling engine, the electrical engine, and the steam engine. First we'll do gears. And uh, I'm going to show you each one of their uses, what I used them for. When I, oh, I use uh, the redstone and uh, the electrical right now, those are the only ones I use. But when I first started, the Sterling was uh, a big, I was a big fan of, and so is the Hobbyist steam engine. This is a great engine. Uh, it's almost free to run, and it produces a good amount of of MJ. And I'll get into MJ and what the difference between MJ and EU is. Uh, if you hear an echo, I'm sorry, I can't find my headphones anywhere, and. So my sound on my my computer's on, and sometimes it interacts with the with the uh, the microphone. I'm sorry, uh, you might hear a slight echo. But anyway, we'll get right into it. We're gonna start with gears. I'm gonna show you how to make them and their uses. So these are how to make some of the simpler gears. Uh, the first one is four sticks in a circle in this diamond pattern. That gives you a wood gear. Wood gears are used to build red. Uh, redstone engines and I'm pretty sure that's the only engine that you you need to use them but to make any other gear you need to start with wood gears you can't build gears just out of anywhere you need to build them each um, each after you. I wonder what a gravitational engine is look at that thing it looks intense so sorry I checked. so anyway every every gear starts with this stick pattern these four sticks and a diamond and so then to move up from gear to gear, you start with the wood gear, and then you go to the stone gear. That's cobblestone around a wood gear. And then to turn it into a tin gear, you put tin around it. Iron gear, you put iron around it. Uh, the, the one calls for gold nuggets, not gold ingots, so we'll get into that too. But anyway, let's make a few, <clears throat> and then we'll start going over our recipes. On, uh, oh, let me sleep first. We'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. The sun was going down, so I made it rise again. Look at that tree over there. If anyone is uh, anyone watches these and knows what this is and why they show up in some of the uh, the biomes, I'm I'm very curious to know what that is supposed to be. Thank you. Anyway, let's continue on. We're gonna make a few of these different gears. And I'm gonna go over each engine at a time. I hope to get through every engine today. I might just I might not. I only I still only have a 15 minute limit, so we'll see. Anyway, let's make uh make a ton of these we're gonna need a lot of the wood gears so we got 11 wood gears and we're gonna start off we're gonna do one engine at a time and I'll show you each gear at a time so we're gonna start with the redstone engine every engine requires a piston and a piece of glass these two are pretty except for this guy right here the steam engine it calls for a redstone transmission coil but every these two right here this magnet magmatic one too um, eventually I'll know to use them all and I'll show you each one of them, but I think this is a good start. I, I've never used any of the others, so I don't I don't know if they're really worth it. I'd love to learn them though. But as you can see, only the steam and magmatic uh, call for this redstone uh, transmission coil. So for now, you can just use uh, the glass. So they all call for piston glass, and uh, most of the time they call for whatever their gear is made of on the top. So this one is the redstone engine, and as you can see, that's how you make it right there. The wooden gears on the bottom, wood gears, a piston, a piece of glass, and then the two sides are empty. So we'll make this guy real quick. We're gonna go through each one and we're gonna make each one. And then I'll show you uh, the uh, real, word, real world uses. And I'm just gonna use my base because uh, there's machines that I haven't went over yet. But uh, we're gonna start going over them. So I'm just gonna show you each each way to make each engine and what, it, what it's going to be used for. Uh, the next is the Sterling. This one runs on, I believe, coal, charcoal, or coal coke. I don't know if it runs on any other things, but it might. So we're going to make one of these real quick. This is a nice engine because if, you know, when you start binding down below, you start finding more and more coal. Oh, let's make some gears. So, like I said, you put the uh, wood in the middle and you put the stone around it. 
you get the uh, the stone gear. So we need two stone gears. Uh, this is a nice engine in the beginning. Uh, I ran my uh, one of my machines, my rolling machine, I believe, in the beginning off of this, uh, and before uh, I started using solar panels and stuff. So it's a nice machine to start with. So that's two down. So one, the redstone produces not too much power. This one produces more. And then we're going to go to the electrical engine. This is, I don't know how you got in there. This one's made with tin, so that means that you need to make tin gears. Let's make those real quick. Those are the same process, so we'll put two in the middle. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Two in the middle, and then two pieces of tin, uh, a piece of tin on each side to make these cool looking blue tin gears. Put that there, you put the tin on the top row, just the same way you make all the others, and then a piston. That gives you an electrical engine. This engine is my favorite. Eventually I will show you how to upgrade and everything and uh, how to make those really powerful. They're, they're really cool. And the last is the hobby is steam engine. This one uses gold nuggets. Let me show you the recipe for this one. Gold nuggets, a piece of glass, the piston, and gold gears. So you use stone with the gold plate gears with gold nuggets around it. So let's make that guy real quick. Oh shit, I forgot to make the gears. So same process, you put two here, you make the stone again. And then ingots all around. I need more ingot little I need more nuggets. And so you take the gold plate gears, a piston, a piece of glass, and the nuggets. So each recipe is pretty straightforward. You get this hobbyist steam engine, really cool, really cool engine. Um, that's how you make each one. I think that's a very easy, easy sh uh, show of how to make them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you at my base real quick, just the uses. I just wanted to get through engines so then we can move on to advanced machines. Hey everyone, I'm gonna do a video like I said, rather than show you each engine and what it does. I had the whole thing recorded at my house, um, and I went to upload it today. I recorded it like a, like a week ago, and it was corrupt. So I can't use that footage, so I'm going to do it again. I didn't like it anyway, so I'm kind of glad it happened. Let me just show you how this work real quick. Uh, I'm a little ways away. There's the windmill farm right there. I did a little work on it. So this is how they work. Um, each engine powers um, the industrial craft machine. And I have the rolling machine. I'm going to show you the rolling machine next video. I have a whole video already done for that. I just want to show you what they do and how they work. Each one does need a redstone signal. But this is the only one that will work with only a redstone signal. So you turn that on, and it gives it one micro uh, Minecraft jewel per pump. So every time it pumps, it's going to go up one, which is very slow. So you use these for other things. Um, I just want to show you how to build them. I'm going to get into what they're used for pretty soon. So that's the redstone engine. Pretty simple. Next one is the sterling. This one is the one that you add the coal to. So let's add two pieces of coal. Pop this on real quick. This gives 25 Microcraft Minecraft jewels uh, around you know, 56. So about 20, 20 to 30 per pump. Really fast, good use of charcoal. Um, this is the one I used the most often before I got to that one, and it's a good one. This one, meh, not that good. I'll show you how it's used. I'm um, just doing this real quick because uh, I'm going to get into how where, where you would use them next video. So this is the sterling. It requires water and coal. So put a piece of coal here. And put your water here. You'll empty the bucket into here, and you'll start to produce steam when you get to 100 uh, Celsius. An easier way to put water in, just click, and then right click on it. And you'll continuously fill it. You can see it's got a good amount of water. Now that it's hot enough, it's going to do a pump. 12 MJ. So it's about, I think it's like 10 to 15 per pump. Yep. So that was about 20. Yep, 20 again. So 20 per pump. But it requires water and steam, unlike this guy. So you get like 25 out of here for only coal. This requires coal and water. So it's not really that worth it. So I wouldn't use it that much. <clears throat> the next one is the electrical engine. This one's pretty cool. It takes um, EU and turns it into MJ. 
Minecraft tools. And this one, put the colon here. I already have a little power stored up. Click it on, and you get 36, 106, 176, so about 50 per pump. Wait, look at how fast that pumps that bad boy up. And I already almost full. And this one's getting there. I turn it off. So clearly, this is the best one. This uh, electric one. I already showed you how to make all these. I just wanted to show you what they were used for. I just wanted to show this quick video about engines because now we're going to get into machines. I already actually have it all built over there because this is afterwards. But um, we're going to be using a setup like this next video, and we're going to be using this guy pretty soon. This one we'll probably never use. I just wanted to show you how it's used. It works. It's a decent machine. Um, the, you can just keep filling it with water. Keep it filled and... Uh, as long as the temperature stays up, you know, and look at one piece of coal, it lasts a good amount of time, a lot of steam. It'll keep powering. This this guy I, I wouldn't use for this type of situation, but I just wanted to show you how it was used. Pretty simple though, pretty simple setup, all of these. Uh, it turned off uh, because this is full. Those are your engines, the four that I showed you how to build in the beginning of this video. Next video, we're going to be doing the rolling machine and... The compressor, I believe. Yeah, that's the video I have next. After that, we're going to be doing a tutorial on just a bunch of random things in the game that don't really go together. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Rock, and uh, thank you for your time. You guys have a good day.